What's up, friends? Brandon here. You're watching the Scale Racing Channel. Coming at you today with a Diecast Extreme Diecast Show haul video. Didn't get any diecast picking on this particular trip. Uh, showed up fairly early, and I knew that uh, DXP Racing Dale was going to be there, so I wanted to make sure that I did a good strafing run through all the booths before he beat me to all the good stuff. He did a really good job of it last time at the Nashville show. So as you can see, yeah, scored quite a few good things here. Uh, anyway, when I got done with the strafing run, I uh, went outside to get my camera and I realized that David from Twice Diecast, uh, he was actually getting video of the show. So I figured, heck, if he's getting good video of the picking, then I'll go ahead and leave him to it. So first time meeting him in person and uh, really enjoy talking with him for a little while. Really cool dude. If you enjoy watching uh, review and picking videos, make sure you go to Twice Diecast. And that's with a Y. And DXP Racing is right there. Visit both of those channels. Give them a sub. Let them know I sent you. They're both doing really good work in the diecast world. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start looking at what we got. Okay, all the cars from here to right about here were purchased from Diecast Extremes David. So we'll take a quick look at all these. And I've recently decided to go ahead and start rounding out my bone shaker collection. So picked up this blue one. And he had this set aside for me, Infinity G37 Coupe from Matchbox. Been looking for this Datsun 240Z treasure hunt for a while. And he had it set aside for me. Looking really, really good. Uh, I can't remember the prices on all these. I've got them on the bottom. I think I paid uh, $7 for that one, I believe. Custom 62 Chevy in the black colorway. My favorite colorway of this casting, one of my favorite Chevrolet truck castings that Hot Wheels does. Yep, paid $7 for it. Chevy Silverado, white with the police decos. He was $5. Uh, as I was saying, uh, some of the flea markets you go to, you're able to stumble upon cars for a buck a piece. And there are a lot of cars here that I actually scored for a buck a piece. But for some of the more desirable cars, if you go into one of these diecast stores or shows or something like that, a lot of these people live off the sales that they make at these shows. So you're not able to get everything for a buck. And that is the uh, cool combi in the Moon Eyes livery. He was five bucks. As I was saying, you're not gonna be able to get all of them for a buck, but if you buy from Diecast Extreme, I guarantee you're gonna end up paying less than what you would get them for on eBay or one of the online places or something like that. We've got the uh, BMW 850i. This is the final run version with the PC5 wheels and the chrome body. He was a little pricey, but I really wanted that car, 12 bucks for him. 67 Camaro in black with the silver flames going down the side and the Y5 wheels. Way too fast in the Brock's livery, three bucks. Peugeot 205 Rally in the multicolored, uh, it's an interesting coloration, but I do like those five spoke wheels. He was $10. Metal body, metal base. This car's got some heft to it. Punisher van. Very nice. That was five bucks. 63 Chrysler Turbine. Been looking for this one for a while. Kind of hard to find online. Really nice looking in the, I guess they call this the Spectra Frost paint job. He was six bucks. 64 Corvette Stingray in Zamac. All of his Zamax, for the most part, are three bucks. That one has eluded me. Jaguar XJ40. This one, a really nice looking casting. This is a Corgi casting. Uh, paid two dollars for it. Nice and wide, fits on the orange track just fine. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Didn't have this colorway in all red, and this was the uh, new for 2016 model. He was five bucks. Nissan 300ZX in purple with five spoke wheels, metal on metal, he was four. Prices have gone up on these just a little bit. He used to have those for two. I grabbed the last one they had in stock. Mercedes 2.6, another really wide car. Another Corgi casting. Really good detailing on it. Wheels are kind of small, sits really wide. It was two bucks, but it does fit on the orange track. So you'll see him racing down the quarter mile here shortly. Another bone shaker with the Hot Wheels Racing Team livery. Hot Wheels showroom bone shaker in pink. 71 El Camino, this one in black. 
been wanting this one for a while now and I figured he'd had it and he had quite a few of them. So this one in the five spoke, it was two bucks. And all of these cars right here were located in a bin underneath one of his uh, dump tables. So each one of these cars was a dollar. The, the cards are flawed in some form or fashion or whatever reason they were down there, they were marked down to a buck. So I got the shoe box with the PR5s, 97 Corvette in green, Porsche Carrera GT. This one has a busted blister, but the card inside is perfect. So I wasn't too hurt about that. Evil number three, can't beat that for a buck. 65 Mustang convertible. I've got one of these in my display. They can be fast. Johnny Lightning X-Men Crown Victoria. I haven't run this one yet. He does have the uh, deep five-spoke wheels. This one was $2, not a buck, but still two bucks for that car. Yep, not a problem there. Buick Stalker, metal on metal. Buck. It's the Happy Holidays Rapid Responder. We all know how these things can be dangerous down the quarter mile drag strip. Two Huffman Chevy Stalkers, dollar piece, metal on metal. You'll see one of these in my NASCAR video coming up shortly. BMW 3 Series Coupe, also a buck, metal on metal. This one can get it done on the quarter mile. Pretty nice looking casting. Usually those are hard to find for less than about six or seven dollars online. GT Racer, this one, Made in China, hence the discolored blister. I believe this car is actually silver. He was a buck. 95 Camaro from the 50th anniversary series. Also a dollar. And the last one out of the dollar bin is the Baja Breaker. Metal on metal with the big black wall tires. I believe Kit Racing had some pretty good luck out of that particular casting, so we'll have to see how it does. David had a lot of loose funny cars sitting in his display, so I got to test drive quite a few of them. This one is probably the best rolling out of every one that he had in there. It's the Rock'em Sock'em Robots, the uh, Ford Probe funny car. Uh, I believe he was five bucks. Uh, I don't mind paying that because if you have to buy the set that this thing comes in, it's usually gonna be quite a bit more than that. And I already know that it's a good roller. So five bucks doesn't hurt my feelings. We got Track Manga ID car. That one was three bucks. I've got kind of a uh, secret little obsession with these cars. I do dig them, so I do collect them. Hot Wheels Pirates five pack. Uh, mostly for that bone shaker right there is why I got the five pack. I believe this one was priced at uh, $7. And I'm really curious about that Lakester down there. He's got the skinny wheels on it. Again, five bucks for that one. He had a whole tub of Pixar cars, and I think you know that, uh, yeah, if they're fast, I don't mind getting them. So this one is tow, kind of a large size tow truck with smooth tires, and we'll have to have a cars race here shortly. Mario Andretti. And this one I'm really curious about, Tex Dynaco in gold. Each of these Pixar cars uh, were $5 a piece. Matchbox Streakers, it's the BMW Z8 number 59 with the wide five spoke wheels that I like very much. Yes, this car was $4. Really like the Z8 casting that Matchbox produces. Actually quite heavy, even though it is a convertible. We got the Pontiac Solstice with the same wheels. It was also four bucks. 1970 Chevy El Camino, number 46, also the Streakers. I think Red Pill ran one of these. He's got one of these guys in his ranks, so $4 for that, give him a shot. And the Mitsubishi Eclipse. I don't think this one's gonna do all that well down the orange track. I believe the body does rub a little bit, but for four bucks, I went ahead and picked him up anyway. And that concludes everything that I bought just from David at Diecast Extreme. So let's move on to some of the cars that I picked up from the vendors while I was there. Bugatti Veyron from the Quarter Mile Finals series. Got him for $2. 18 Camaro SS in blue. I believe I paid 50 cents for him. Picked up another one of these guys. 1979 Ford F-150. I think this guy was two bucks. $5 for this Thunderburner. 
with the gold Hot Ones wheels. I do not have one in the black coloration. I do have a couple of Valvolines, but not in this particular colorway. So hopefully this guy's got some speed. 16 Angels. Uh, I think that's a metal body, metal base. Pretty sure. Picked him up for a buck. Red Edition Toyota Land Cruiser. This one has eluded me as well. I ended up getting him for, I believe, $2. So not too sad about that. 57 Chevy. Metal body, metal base, got him for, I think he was 50 cents. Matchbox Chevy van, this one the maintenance yard version. In yellow, got him for 50 cents. Another 1997 Corvette, this one with a different colorway and three spoke wheels, he was 50 cents. 1940 Ford Coupe, really dig this casting. I have quite a few of them in the collection. Don't have this particular colorway yet, he was 50 cents. 2020 Jeep Gladiator by Matchbox, 50 cents. And the BMW 850i, this one in silver. This one I think, I don't know if this is a Corgi casting or not. It, it kind of resembles one, but the base does not look like a Corgi base. So if anybody knows if this is an original Hot Wheels design, leave a comment down below, let me know. In silver, he was also 50 cents. And we had another vendor out there that was selling cars at a dollar a piece, so I swiped up quite a few more bone shakers for my collection. This one, the Larry Wood version. 50th anniversary with the blings. Legends of Speed in red. And blue. Hot Wheels Mild the Wild, this one in green with the gray five spokes. Moving on to yet another vendor, I ended up picking up this Pagani Huayra, the carded ID car in gold. Um, I'm trying to think. The next one, two, three, four, five cars, I believe I paid, oh, I'm gonna say I paid $30 for these five cars. So uh, let's see, this is the F-150. Yeah, that was marked at eight bucks. I think she knocked two or three dollars off of it as kind of a little package price thing going on. This one has the PC-5 wheels. Haven't run that particular casting down the track yet. Porsche 914 from the race day series. Really, really like this casting and this particular version with the real rider tires. So it's happy to finally get it. Dotson Bluebird 510. This one in the cranberry red from the track day series. Looking nice. And the 67 Mustang Ultra Hots. Real rider tires. Full decos, looking really, really good. Another vendor had this 92 Ford Mustang with the blue Nitto graphics. Uh, I really haven't brought myself to pay what they're asking for them online, so I was glad to get this along with the black 50th anniversary bone shaker and the 67 Camaro in gold. Those three cars were $15 total. Next vendor had these marked at a dollar a piece. This is the Enforcer, metal body, metal base with the five spoke wheels. Kind of curious to see how it does. Chrysler Pronto. It's got the uh, red, white, and blue colorway with the lace wheels and made in China. And that's where the discolored blister comes from. Pretty good heft to this car. We'll have to see how it does. Solar CX-4, I try not to turn these down when they're selling them for a buck. This is the Spy Print series with three spoke wheels, plastic base, and the Turbulence, metal body, metal base with five dot wheels, also a buck. All right, last vendor that was at the Diecast Extreme show that I purchased from, uh, he showed up just a little bit late and he was off in his pickup truck unloading and had boxes full of main lines. And each one of these cars right here were a dollar a piece. Tesla Model S in metallic black, short card. Amazon with the Oshkosh Fire Department livery. Not a super huge fan of the casting itself, but it's not bad. But I do like the colorway on this one. Two 09 F-150s, one in blue, one in Zamac. 77 Pontiac Firebird on fire, looking good. Gazella GT, this one was in the uh, pearl and chrome set, and this was the chase that I never found on the pegs, so uh, I got this one. It was only a buck, so I figured I'd pick it up, round out the collection on that particular set. 
Another 09 F-150, this one in orange. 1987 Toyota pickup truck in red. Tour de Fast in green. Shadow Jet, part of the White Ice series. Of course, uh, if you race, you know these things have some potential, so we'll have to see how he does. Subaru WRX STI. This is the Fast and Furious. He is, what, seven out of eight from 2014. Really like the colorway on this guy, so I swiped him up. Lamborghini Estoque in blue. 2017 Nissan GTR R35 in silver. Two 71 Mustang Funny Cars, both of them metal on metal. Top one being the Happy Holidays, the other one being the lime green version. The Eater of Fires. Buck. 63 Studebaker Champ in probably my favorite colorway. Uh, I do like the fact that it doesn't have a lot of bullshit going down the side, but you do get headlights and grill detailing as well as the Studebaker going across the back tailgate. Very nice looking truck. Can pass that one up for a dollar. BMW M4. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna race this guy. He's really, really light, plus he's got the trap fives, but I do like the look of this car. Very well detailed for Hot Wheels. And it is missing the black stripe on the hood. I think it's supposed to have a black stripe. I just now noticed that. Okay, whatever. 81 DeLorean DMC12. This one in the gold coloration. And this one has, uh, what is that? Opening rear hatch. Pretty cool looking car for a buck. And let's jump ahead over to the loose cars. These are the cars that I picked up from various vendors at the show. Uh, 65 Mustang Fastback looking good. I believe that was the Ford Performance version. Buck 09 Corvette ZR1. I believe this one was a multi-pack exclusive. Also a dollar. Ferrari F12 Berlinetta in yellow. I did pay $2 for him. This is one of the castings that has been eluding me. Looking nice. This one also $2, the Enzo Ferrari in the white colorway. Porsche 934 Turbo RSR in blue. These cars are pretty darn minty. 65 Pontiac GTO, this is the uh, Connect Car Series where each one of these cars was dedicated to a certain state, this one being the Michigan version. Looking really good. Pearl white paint job. That was two bucks. 70 Camaro RS, I believe this one was from the Garage Series. Two dollars. Looking really nice. I've been looking for this guy for a while. Kind of a small casting compared to the rest. 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. This one coming from, I believe, a Fast and Furious set from the uh, 2015, maybe. Let's have details on the front, side, and the back. Nice looking car. It's got some pretty good weight to it. R33 Skyline. One of the new models, this one coming in a very nice looking blue coloration. I don't know if you can see the, the flake on that blue. Looking really good. No BS going down the side, so you do have tampos on both the front and the rear. Nice looking car, two bucks. All right, backing up a little bit, we did stop at Video Games and More, also in Coleman, Alabama. The guy has like a converted convenience store and he sells video games and Hot Wheels mostly in there. I think he's got some comic books too, but uh, I went by his place to see what he had, anything good. He had this uh, bone shaker right here, uh, Hot Wheels Off-Road. Didn't have him yet. Uh, he was $4. And the Treasure Hunt Bone Shaker, which I didn't have that one either. That one was a little bit more than I was really wanting to spend, but uh, $10, I think they usually sell for around 12 to 15 on eBay. So I went ahead and spent $10 with the guy. Fast and Furious, 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, we know how fast these can be. He was 450. Couldn't pass that up. And the rest of these that I got from video games and more were a dollar a piece with the exception of these two. So let's look at them. Tesla Model X in silver. And we got the Volkswagen New Beetle Cup. Don't have that colorway of this particular car. Nice size wheels. A pair of 2016 Cadillac ATS VRs. 
probably going to do some uh, wheel swapping with those guys. They do have the nice wide stance. And the Mark Martin number six Valvoline Ford Taurus. Uh, the Tauruses don't notoriously do well on the downhill. And I think I said I paid two for this. I think he was marked at $1. He was with the regular main line. So I uh, couldn't pass that up for a buck. And if you can watch this. Yeah, that's the Bobby Hamilton. And that's the heavy version. Got him for $2. We all know how these can perform. 2002 first edition of the Celine S7. Looking really good. Callaway C7. Also looking pretty good. I don't know about that rear spoiler, but anyway. Pair of 69 Chevelles, both 2008 new models. One in yellow, one in black. Dollar piece. And a pair of the Mercedes-Benz SLKs. Both these cars metal on metal, five dot wheels. Pretty good heft, should do pretty good on the track. Again, I mentioned I saw Dale from DXP Racing. He met me down there and he picked up some goodies from a lady in Antioch, I believe, that had a bunch of cars for sale out of a collection that belonged to her husband. He got four of these and he set two aside for me. This is a Road Champs limousine and metal body, metal base. This thing is a brick. Thank you, Dale. I appreciate you picking those up for me, for sure. And yet another one, this one in white, black top, same configuration, metal body, metal base, also very heavy. He picked up this Scion XB. I've been looking for the white version with the flower wheels. So we know that guy is gonna go down the track. Nice deco on him. And super fast number 49, I believe this was from 2005 or 2006. It's the Volkswagen W12. In red with the wide five spoke wheels. And this guy has a very wide footprint. Oh yeah, he fits on the orange track. We'll see him later. And on my way home, I met up with Matthew from Ferris Finds Diecast. If you haven't seen his channel yet, make sure you go there, Ferris Finds Diecast. He does uh, mostly peg hunting videos, but he does have some other uh, tech and tips that he does, like painting and whatnot for wheel swaps and all that kind of stuff. But uh, he had this one set aside for me for a long time now. We finally just got together. It's the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. This one I never did find in the wild. I believe this is one of the retro series cars. And he also picked up for me the 71 Skyline. Also from the Retro Series. This guy right here has eluded me. I got all the other cars in the set with the exception of that Chevelle. 69 Chevelle SS396. And that is the American scene version. Looking very nice. And from the Toyota Series, the Toyota Supra, this one has eluded me as well. In all white, real riders. So thank you, Matthew, for picking those up for me. Got a package the other day. I uh, got these four cars from my buddy Mike. He's a subscriber to the channel. And uh, we did some trading. I made a start box for his race and he gave me back a few cars as payment. So it's the new Treasure Hunt Draftnator. Got that. Sent the Quick Bite, also Treasure Hunt. Sweet 16 2. Metal on metal in purple with five spoke wheels. And he managed to find a couple of these in the store. So he sent one of these along to me, uh, the 1955 Back to the Future Time Machine. Very cool, potentially fast car. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that very much. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, local Walmart find, they got these new uh, Disney cars in. Pretty much passed on every one of them except for the cool combi. It's got the Nightmare Before Christmas theme going on the side. Thought it looked pretty cool. So I went ahead and picked him up. Whoa. So I think he was $1.97 in the store. And uh, a couple days prior to going to uh, the Diecast Extreme show, I stopped at a antique store that normally has quite a few nice Hot Wheels cars for sale. Uh, picked up this guy, what is that, Porsche? I don't remember what that Porsche version is. There's too many versions of the Porsches, but this guy was, I think, $2 
pretty much mint condition. Didn't have that colorway yet. And also this Lincoln Navigator by Matchbox in the light metallic blue. He's got the same wheels as Mr. Boss 302 right there. Pretty good weight. Even though he is a plastic based car, we'll see how he does down the track. And from the classic series, the 1962 Chevy bubble top. This one in gold, this car was two bucks, metal on metal. Don't expect a lot of speed out of him. He's kind of narrow, but you never know. 56 flash slider with the five dot wheels, kind of a uh, questionable livery, some kind of wrestling uh, deco on the side of that one. And the dairy delivery, this one in the olive green color. Pretty heavy casting. Well, that's gonna do it for all of the die casts that I've collected over the last, oh, let's say about a week. Yeah, quite a few cars in this. Uh, a lot of these you'll see again on the racing channel. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway here before too long, so you'll see a lot of these castings in the giveaway. So if you're into that kind of stuff, winning free die cast cars, make sure you subscribe to the channel like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little while. Let me know how I did in the comments. Till next time, y'all stay healthy, have fun collecting.